a new update on Michael Jackson that nobody knows about. It's uh, exclusive, I guess you could say. Um, oh, man. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I drew for Michael. I uh, had somewhat of a friendship with him. He spoke to me on the phone. I saw him a couple of times. I went to school with Macaulay Culkin and his family, and we had mutual friends who would always go to Neverland Ranch, and I made uh, two videos on that. Um, but I just spoke with someone uh, just now. Oh, so bad. Um, so here's what they said, that apparently there are seven victims who have not been reported on in the media that were paid off as a settlement, and part of the settlement was a gag order. This is an older gentleman uh, who apparently, he's, he's very big in the Hollywood uh, industry, and apparently he said that there are seven people that he knows personally who said that the same type of allegations happened to these seven kids as well. Ah, uh, the question that we were talking about is, you know, did these seven people jump on the bandwagon to get a payout and have it not go into the media? And is it completely false? Or are these actual, for real, seven victims? We don't know. Um, but if the seven people now who are adults come out and they talk about it, again, Stormy Daniels had a gag order and an NDA signed to not say anything about Trump, but somehow she was able to override that and come out anyway. So if these seven people come out um, as adults not seeking money or monetary gain or fame, and they tell their story and it checks out and there's proof or evidence and an actual cash check and all these other kind of things they'd have to prove, that is not looking very good for uh, for Michael. Um, it's just very hard for me to wrap my mind around someone actually doing this. You know what I'm saying? Especially someone who is such a creative genius in music and art. But like I always said in my previous two videos, separate the art from the artist, you know, whatever the person's demons were or effed up crap in their personal life, just separate it and wash your mind of it and just enjoy the art because the art is its own entity. The art is existence. Do you know what I'm saying? The art is a child unto itself. It's, a, it's its own human being. You understand what I'm saying? It exists by itself separately from the creator. So just think of it as, oh, the parent was corrupt, so we can't focus on the parent or the artist, but their creation, right, which exists on its own, like the music or the art, we could still enjoy the beauty and the talent and the creativity. Just separate it. Don't mix the two together. Um, it's very hard to do that, but I think that's the healthiest thing for us to do as people, you know? So, uh, also, you know, there were, there's evidence, of course, uh, that there was, uh, that there was, um, uh, back in the 90s that, uh, you know, they found these, uh, photography books of underage male boys, like a few books in Michael's, uh, Neverland Ranch or something like that. But again, there's also the thought that those were planted in order to open a case. And you all, I mean, all of you have heard about corruption and where people plant fake evidence in order to be able to start a case or things like this. So we just don't know, you know? But it's very important that we are not judgmental to either side. We've got to really stay neutral, be supportive of victims. Um, if they're lying, they're lying. If they're not, they're not. Either way, let them tell their story. Don't suppress them. Be supportive, uh, but don't attack the person they're accusing until we have actual evidence that the person has, in fact, been proven to do those things. I mean, in, in all those trials, again, Michael was proven innocent, and the boy, uh, Jordy or Jordan, uh, came out as an adult and said that his father and he were lying when he was little uh, to get money, to get a money grab from Michael, and that, in fact... As an adult, he wrote an open letter, which you guys can Google. Jordan came forward and said that Michael never did anything to him, never touched him, nothing. So, you know, it's very hard. I mean, when someone is a, you know, billionaire like Michael, I mean, Michael owned 
the rights to the birthday song. He owned the rights to the Beatles library and half of Sony, you know, recordings. I mean, he was a very rich guy. So uh, that being said, you know, he's a real target. And it only takes a few people to just plant a story and say, hey, now pay me a billion dollars to be quiet. I don't know, but see, if there were, if there are these seven people who are about to come out and they are, in fact, uh, people who took settlements, right? Would you take money if your child was actually molested? You understand? So that seems weird to me. It makes sense that, you know, there could be a payoff because it's cheaper, it's easier, and there's less publicity around it. It also makes sense that maybe you wouldn't want to put your child through that so you take the payout. But then again, you're letting a real criminal free, right? And, and I don't think, you know, I don't think there's any amount of money, right? Um, unless someone was so impoverished or, 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 or impoverished or whatever, just so, you know, broke that they were so desperate. But, but for all seven people to take a payout and say, okay, now you can roam free to do it to others seems false to me. It seems like a money grab. I don't know. It's very, very difficult. You know, it's a very hard thing to, to know. But again, let's just separate the art from the artist and that's it. Guys, post your comments below. Make sure to subscribe for updates. Watch video one and two if you want to see how I uh, spoke to Michael and met him and uh, the art that I did for him and all that kind of stuff and the stories that I knew about Neverland Ranch and my friends sleeping over there and what they told me. Um, it's very important, especially one of them. What what you know? I was very good friends. Um, and, well, you'll see in video one and two. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow for updates. This is Comic Book Artist, Writer, and Director Greg Wyke from BeyondComics.tv. Thanks for watching.